Greetings to you. Before we continue, you should speak to Raminus Polus about your advancement within the guild. Farewell. Ella, it's my pleasure. Please continue. Truly, you are an asset to the guild. I reward you with the rank of wizard and teach you a most powerful spell. Bye. I don't know what Archmage Traven has against necromancy, but the first thing he did after taking over the Mage's Guild was to ban its practice. You too. Hello there. At the worst possible time, the Council is in ruins. A course of action could not be agreed upon. Some felt that we are in danger of being exterminated and that it is time to fight back. Others felt it appropriate to fight fire with fire, as it were. The council has shattered, and artifacts have been lost. The necromancer's amulet and the bloodworm helm have been taken. A group of mages led by Earl of Jarol took the helm and have retreated to Fort Telemann in an effort to study it further. They hope to learn enough from it to find some way to fight Manimarko. I tried to dissuade them, but it was no use. I would like the helm returned so that it may be kept safe here in the university. I fear Erlaf has made himself a target for the necromancers. It was last seen in the possession of Erlaf Jarol. He was taking it to Fort Telemann. I can only assume he is still there. Please, return the helm here before any harm comes to it or those who are using it. Karanya insisted on removing it from the university. She said it posed a threat to the safety of the Imperial City. While I do not doubt that she was right, I question whether her motives were genuine. She seemed all too eager to explore its power. I fear she is not safe from the minions of the King of Worms. She is at Fort Ontas. Please go there and return with the amulet. Help her to see that she should not use the weapons of the enemy, especially out of fear. Take care. Hi there.
Have you recovered either the bloodworm helm or the necromancer's amulet? Erlav is dead. I tried to warn him. I tried to tell him it was a mistake to leave with the helm. I shall return the helm to a secure place in the tower. It's the least I can do for Erlav. Thank you. Have you recovered the necromancer's amulet? Be seeing you.
How fair thee, friend. What are you doing here? Well, Karanya will want to talk to you. You should go see her. How are you? If you're here to help, you'd best go see Karanya. She'll tell you what we need. What are you here about the amulet? If so, Karanya has it. You'd better talk to Karanya before you do anything else. We've been hard at work. Karanya is very determined. You should go talk to her. Well, well, this is quite a surprise. I thought you were Traven's lapdog, doing whatever he said. And yet, here you are. Good that you've finally seen the light. The cause will benefit from your assistance. Things in the guild have been different since Traven was named Archmage. They're more structured, but everyone seems tense. What? You're here to take it back to Traven? Oh, my dear, I'm afraid you're in over your head. I don't answer to Traven. I heed only the word of Manimarco. When he has the amulet, his power will be increased and Traven will be helpless to stand in his way. You, I'm afraid, won't be standing at all. I promise I'll make this quick. I'd like to have you mostly intact, so Manimarco can suck the marrow from your bones.
to arms! Do your work.
like that! Your presence here will not be tolerated!
can I do for you? May I interest you in... You've made a good bit of gold. You've made a good bit of gold. Thank you. Let's see what... Take care. Ah, you must be the Arcane University's newest addition. Hi, I'm listening. Have you recovered the necromancer's amulet? Karanya turned on the guild? I... I don't understand. She was one of my most trusted advisors. The situation grows more dire with each passing day, it seems. I fear where this will end. The amulet is safe, however, and that must be enough for now. Thank you for returning it. Before we continue, you should speak to Raminus Polus about your advancement within the guild. Be seeing you. It's my pleasure. Please, continue. I can truly consider you an equal, and so grant you the rank of Master Wizard. There is no higher rank which I can bestow upon you. You have my congratulations, and my thanks. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Hi there! Time is against us, and our enemies grow stronger. There is much to do and little time in which to do it. Your next task is essential. Word has been sent that the necromancers have been quite busy creating black soul gems for their master. In particular, a unique black soul gem has been crafted in the south of Cyrodiil in the ruins of Cylon. This gem needs to be confiscated and brought here before it can be delivered to the King of Worms and used against us. No, I have need of it. I believe it may be instrumental in saving our guild. I will explain once you have returned with it. Until then, discussion is useless. I've spoken with several individuals I cannot name at this time. Count Hasseldor has also provided valuable information, as you well know. A contingent of battle mages has been sent to the site. I would like you to oversee their actions on my behalf. The only thing that matters is that gem. Do you understand? Once you have it safely in your possession, return here immediately. Know that you have my complete confidence. I would not entrust this job to you if I did not feel you were prepared for it. Now go. You must make sure the gem does not reach Manny Marco. We are doomed if it does. It is fashionable to make fun of Braville and Regulus Terentius. Personally, I think it is poor sport to mock the poor and disadvantaged. There is only one task with which you should be concerned. Intercept that soul gem before it reaches Manny Marco's hands. Be seeing you. <laughs>